Hello everyone and welcome to Salon Ra. Today we are going to do a fun recipe for vegan chocolate sauce. And this vegan chocolate sauce is perfect for your summer picnic, for your vegan summer picnic. It's really, really great to dip berries in and I, to be honest, it's totally my guilty pleasure. I make this all the time for myself and just dip different fruits into it. You can even dip veggies, go crazy, go nuts. Um, and this is a really, really, really simple recipe. It's only four ingredients, could be even three if you wanted to, plus water, and you just blend it up. Super quick, super easy. And this recipe is in collaboration with some of my favorite YouTubers. So I will link that playlist and their videos below in the description as well as up here. And all of us are making different vegan summer picnic recipes. So I chose dessert, which is very uncharacteristic of me because as you know, I really like salty things, but I am excited to share this with you. I just thought you would probably really like this because it's so simple and it's just this chocolate sauce that I eat all the time and I was like, it is time that I share it with my people. So I know you're gonna love it. It's really, really easy and make sure to visit all of the other people's videos because they're gonna have some great savory and I think sweet also recipes for you. The full recipe is going to be in the description box below, linked and you can check it out and follow the very complicated instructions. No, I'm just kidding. It's really, really simple. So let's go and make it. So for our vegan chocolate sauce, we're gonna be using a shitload of dates, <laughs> bit of dates. Um, don't complain about this. This is a great sweetener. It's just, it's the easiest sweetener that you could use and it's no refined sugar. And this is a big portion, so I promise it's okay. I, I think it's fine to eat this many dates. Um, you know, it's better than maple syrup. So anyway, now the next thing we have is cacao powder. Of course, this is chocolate after all. And then this one is optional, but highly recommended. It's lucuma powder, and it's also sort of like a sweetener, and it just gives it a really nice flavor. If you don't have any, just skip it, that's fine. And now for the true star of the show, we have this hazelnut butter. Oh my goodness, it is so good. If you don't have hazelnut butter, don't worry. I've done this with almond butter, with coconut butter, so many different butters. So just use whatever nut or seed butter that you have. Uh, I would say the best one would be coconut or hazelnut or almond or cashew as well. And water. And now you can guess, yes, we're going to blend. Oh my goodness, this is the result. It is so rich and creamy and it's so delicious. Just make sure to blend it really, really well so all of the uh, date fragments and everything are blended up. But I promise you, you're going to love this. It is so, so good. Well, you're only eating the fruit? You haven't had the chocolate? The Choc point is dipping the fruit in the chocolate. Mm. Is it good? Mm. Really? Amazing. Or you're just Amazing. being... <laughs> Amazing. Happy Father's Day to you. <laughs> Yummy. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. 